Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mum Court. Today I'm going to be reading for my Divine Masculines out there who are trying to look for their Divine Feminines. This is one of my highly requested readings. I've had a lot of um, messages, emails from my male subscribers asking me to do these readings. This one is dedicated to you, okay? This is for all star signs. This is for my divine masculines out there. Let me just put that out of the way. I'm seeing that you're planning out a journey, my Divine Masculines, to get to your Divine Feminines. You're, you're working out how to get to them. There's a lot of hurdles in place to be able to get to them, to be able to bring this union together. And I don't feel like you're 100% sure on how they're feeling. You have this feeling that you are them like you need to be with them it's really they're really they're really important to you even if you've never really spoke to them it's almost as if you have this knowing that that connection with them is very important it's like you should meet them you should make the effort to meet them yeah you pulled your energy back for a long time and you have been getting into your divine feminine energy. We all have the traits of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. But when you've been in this hermit mode, you've had time to process things, getting into your emotions, knowing how situations make you feel, dealing with those emotions, giving yourself the time that you need to heal from past relationships. But most of all, you're ready for commitment. You're ready for leveling up any connection with anybody. It's like you crave that higher level of commitment. You wanna settle down, you're thinking about having kids, you're thinking about bringing somebody into your home, you're thinking how nice it would be to have somebody around to give somebody that, that support, that love. Yeah, that's what you're craving at the moment. Oh, I felt like two cards then. You've definitely come into contact with this person. Without a doubt, you've come into contact with this person. And there's been miscommunication. That's what I'm being shown. There's been talks with your feminine. There's been miscommunication and there's been arguments that shouldn't have really happened. Too many. Sleepless nights, that just came through. Really, really strong. I can see a card coming out right there we go. There again, it's coming up at the bottom of the deck again, sleepless nights. You've been thinking about this person, you've been craving them, you've been planning on this union for a really long time and knowing how, trying to figure out how to bring you two together, how to be more vulnerable, things you need to do to be able to commit to them. I just see you meeting up with them, traveling towards them, leaving all the toxicity behind. And when you're showing up, you're not just showing up and being like, hey, I'm here. You're like showing up and you're, you've got flowers and you smell really, really good. 
but you know. You know from that moment of seeing them, of being around them, that they are your person. You know with your whole being that they are your person. You can, you literally feel it deep down in your bones that they are your person, that you and them are just destined to be together. It's like a feeling that you've never felt before. That you need to move heaven and earth for this person. It's so intense that you're finding it hard to sleep at night. You're finding it hard to live your day-to-day -day life, but when you're around this person, everything just seems to fall into place. Everything just makes sense. Yeah. This is destiny. And then to have the Six of Cups, the Fool. Do you know what I, th what I think this is, right? I think it's Divine Masculine you and your Divine Feminine getting out of your comfort zones. And I feel like you're so scared to put your heart on the line. You're so scared to get hurt again that you've, you've pulled your energy back for a long time. And you don't want to be made to look a fool again. Because the last time you gave your heart to somebody, they completely and utterly made you look a fool. But with this person... You're, you're willing to be made to look a fool. Well, not, you're willing to look like a fool because you feel with your whole be being that this is the time. This is the time that all those other relationships didn't work out because this is the relationship you're meant to be in. It's like you feel silly because the moment you first met them, you, you already loved them. How can I love somebody? I, I literally see you saying to yourself, how can I love them? I've just met them. It's just this moment of like, <sighs> whoa. There's, there's problems with communication because this is the third time the sleepless nights have come out. Let's have a little luxy loo, shall we? Come on. Why are they up at night? Why are they up at night? Messages for my divine masculines. You and I was too young. They'll always love you unconditionally. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I wish I could take back my words. Wow. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. What did I say right at the top? Sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. There it is. And the last one, I replay our conversations over and over. This person acted so much out of their, n normally they would react out of love, but I just feel like they were so frustrated with people in their ear, Some something, they physically didn't have the tools, okay, to be able to give you what you needed. And I feel like the, we were too young, even if you weren't, I don't know, in your teenagers or whatever, I just feel like, at the time, this feminine didn't have the tools to be able to give you the love. At the bottom it says, I love you. And I do think with all their being, 
They unconditionally love you. It says here, I love you unconditionally. I love you. They do love you. They know that you two are meant to be, but I just feel like whenever you two first met, they knew that wasn't your time. They knew they needed to grow. They knew they needed to overcome some hurdles. We can come into people's lives and we can try and help them. But sometimes that person needs to help themselves first to be able to level up, to be able to be ready for a higher level of commitment. And I feel like it really did scare this person. They wanted to commit to you. They most probably wanted to have kids with you. They wanted to get married. But they were so terrified of that commitment, of being hurt, of losing you, of, I don't know, maybe they've been brought up in a home that both their parents didn't live together and they had to go from one home to another. Maybe they didn't want that. They wanted to have two parents in the same home loving on each other and loving on their kids. They wanted to make sure they were stable so they can not just be stable for themselves, but they could be stable for you and your futures because that's what mattered to them the most. And to be honest, I really respect this person for doing that. Yes, it most probably hurt you when they walked away or stopped communication, whatever they did to cut the cords at the time. Um, I can see that it hurt you, but it's what they had to do. Sorry guys, it's a really beautiful day today and it's hot, hot, hot. Let's see if we can get one last card. judgment divine justice is at play here and good karma is overflowing for you guys now you've worked hard on yourselves and this union is now coming together and yes it's good to rule with your head over your heart sometimes because our hearts will act on impulse because it's you you love somebody and you want to do like crazy things because you're just mad about this person and you want to move heaven and earth maybe moving where you are and moving across the world to be with this person whatever you're doing take a step back before you act in love <laughs> use your brain and be like right even though i want to move heaven and earth and me and this person need to be together Let's think of this logically. What do we need to do? What do we need to put in place? What contracts do we need to sign? What contracts do we need to end? Do you know what I mean? Thinking of all the logic things before you act on impulse because you and this person have come together. And I feel like you have so many nostalgia, so many, so much nostalgia with this person, so much intense passion and love with this person. I feel like it's going to be quick no matter what anyway. So you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Yeah, like, go! <laughs> this is all your messages, my loves. I hope it gave you guidance on your current situation. If you wanted a personal, everything's linked down below. Go and check out your Patreon. Go and check out my Patreon. I'd be really grateful if you did so. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journeys. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, my lovelies. Bye!